Greetings Space Engineers and this is Commander Jubakram. Welcome to episode 2. In the previous episode we had a very short descriptive episode on the menu system. At this point we are continuing on so once you click the start button you will arrive at a screen very similar to this. In the past the other versions had actual drop ships that you could fly and you could maneuver. In this particular one these have drop pods so they literally just drop. So what we're going to do is we're going to quickly look through this. The Earth-like drop pod means on Earth. This is a rover on the moon and the other ones are the same as the Earth one except that's on the alien planet, the alien moon, the Mars planet and the Mars moon. We're going to click the Earth-like drop pod and hit respawn. Now before I hit respawn if you're on a multiplayer survey you will see this screen, the faction screen. So if there are clans or factions, you will see the screen, you get to choose which faction you are part of. If you choose a faction that's already there, when you land, you'll land near that faction. So we're going to click the earth -like drop pod and respawn. And once we arrive in this drop pod, it's going to drop us immediately onto the earth. Wherever we land, that's where we start. We can't navigate to resources like we used to. And here we are. So we hit V for Victor, V for Victor, and we can look on the outside. Hold down your Alt key, and using your mouse wheel, you can zoom in and out, and you can also, holding it down, move your mouse and look. So what you can see here is we're kind of landing up in an environment where in the mountains, uh, there's a bit of snow there. It's not necessarily, looks like it's gonna be the flattest area. We've got our parachute that's just opened. And there we go, we've just landed safely. So we hit V for Victor again, and we can look around. Wonderful. Now before we leave the drop pod, hit I for inventory. I for inventory. And you can see here we've got some items in our passenger seat. So that's sitting right next to us. So let's drag them and put them over to us. So you can see here it says passenger seat. Here it says noodle 1421. That's me, that's Commander Jamaica. Once you drag those across, hit your X. And then once you've done that, you can leave the ship by hitting F for Fred. F is your interaction key. By holding F when you're looking at something, it'll interact. Now, this looks a little weird, but what it's actually doing is showing us third party. So if we hit V for Victor again, now we can look at this. And you hit V for Victor, we can zoom in and out like we did before holding the old key, use the mouse wheel and the scroll. And it allows us to navigate the camera around our guy. Now, before we go any further, I want you to look at something really important. If you look in the bottom section of my screen, which I'm highlighting right now, you're going to see O2 low and warm. O2 is obviously your oxygen level. So if I hit J for Julia, and on the left hand screen, you'll see not only did the icon change for the helmet, you can see my helmet visor going up and down. So if that's O2 low or O2 zero, like it's red, there's nothing there, um, obviously leave your spacesuit helmet closed. That way your system can continue to provide uh, life support as it needs to. And hit V for Victor again. And so we've landed. The first thing we really need to do is have a quick look at our surroundings. We have a little bit of snow here. We have some trees. The sun. It's not too bad. When we look at our ship, we do have engines in here, but we're going to go and destroy those later on. We're going to grind them down to use resources. We have this device here now if you look see the the yellow um, square there that means the interaction is available so hit F for Fred and then we can see that this here is an O2 H2 generator and the other thing we can see if you look up here see how we've got a picture of a, a cube and your helmet the cube is showing inventories on the space station or the ship and so this is all the different components the space station or the ship has where on this side you can see it's just a person so if I carry stuff it'll be on my person the cube no matter which side it is is on the ship so one thing we can look at while opening the O2 H2 is we have these bottles now if we're on Mars or in space or on the alien planets we will want the oxygen bottle in this case we just want the hydrogen bottle so drag that across X that out and then what we're going to do is we're going to look at this so this one here if we F on that box drop this is our survival kit and our survival kit will take the stone and it will turn it into ingots which will give us all sorts of wonderful resources. Alright, so let's go and mine. So before we go any further, let's have a quick look at your HUD. So if you look in the bottom left corner, you can see J for Juliet. That is your helmet on and off. 
I'm just going to go outside view so you can see a bit better. If we go X right next to that, you're going to see that that's a jetpack. Spacebar goes up, C for Charlie goes down, X turns it off. A, D, W, S is your normal left, right, forward, backwards. Remember, space is up, C is down. And you can also, when you're on the jetpack, you can use Q to rotate and E to rotate the other way. And X, when you finish. L for light, so if I bring this around real quick, you can see my helmet lights turn on and off, so that's what that does. Z is your dampeners, so if you're flying and you're specifically in space and you want to get to a certain speed and then hit Z or Z depending where you're living, um, that'll stop the ship trying to stop itself. So at this point if I hit X and I take off and I release, I'm going to hover. If I hit Z for Zulu, I fall. So what happens is this tries to maintain me at a zero movement. So the next thing we're going to do is we need to start mining and we need to get some mine, some minerals into this uh, survival kit. So if you look at the bottom you can see we've got a whole bunch of stuff at the bottom. We've got one, two, three, four, we have welder, a grinder, a hand drill, light armor blocks and so on. You can actually change that. So if you hit G for golf you have this little menu come up and these are all the available options right here and also if you look down here you can see one to nine and if you go if you look at these numbers down here we go control two control three so you actually have nine of these available so what we'll do my recommendation is right click on each of these items and that removes them from here and then what we can do is you can go to character tools or character weapons and you can drag that down and put it in or right click to remove it you can right click it and put it in the first available so what you may want to do is decide that this is the primary stuff and then control 2 might be your building stuff at this point this is all we're going to need and we're going to go to all blocks and then look at my armor blocks we'll just right click in here there we go so if we click 3 for the moment you can see here we've got our drill out now if I hit C you can see that we're crouching and that's going to be really useful in a, re in a moment and I'll show you why we need to start mining get some rocks and put them in there because the rocks are going to give us minerals so if we let crouch and then left click looking at the ground it's going to start digging Once you've dug, if you have a look at something, you'll see it's highlighted in yellow. Hit F for Prey, that's an interaction key, and it'll pick up and it'll put it in our backpack. Now, if we hit I for inventory, it'll show you we have 1,991 kilos of stone. So let's just get some more stone, and then what we'll do is we will go and process the stone. So, the first thing we want to do once we've got enough stone, and this will be good for the moment. And uh oh, we're stuck. So how do we get out? Well, we hit X for X-ray, and then spacebar. We use our jetpack to jump out, and then hit X when you're not too high. There we go. Come over to this guy here, and hit F, and then just drag the stone across the survival kit. Now, the survival kit is functional, but it's not actually told. We have to tell it what to do. So if you have a look at these tabs up here, the one we want to go to is called production. And the production tab we wanted to tell to create an ingot. An ingot will take 500 stone, but we have 3,100. Now, if we click once with our mouse button, it creates one. Hold down the control key and click once, it creates 10. Hold down the shift key and click once, it does 100. And hold down the control and shift key, it does 1,000. So, my recommendation is control shift and create. 1000 ingots and you can see here this is what you get when you create a couple of ingots so each ingot will give you additional resources so what we're going to do now is we've got, uh, we're going to go over to the production side which we're in if you have a look here there's some tabs here we have basic tools now we already have these tools so we don't need to make them you can see here each of these basic tools have the minimum requirements we have iron nickel and silicon for example so we have all those so if we need if we ran out and destroyed our tools or lost them because we died we can make new ones 
and then under basic components this is what we need to be building stuff so let's let's say we need to make 30 plate we can hold down the control key and make 30 plate we drag this across and then we might want to make 20 uh why is that there we go 22 construction let's say we build 30 steel plates uh will be 10 motors we'll build 10 computers uh so what we don't we'll build a display just for giggles maybe 10 girders and what the heck let's build 10 solar cells and if we drag this at the end that tells the computer the highest priority is this one then this one then this one then this one this one and then when it's got no more uh available resources it'll start on this one so this is the highest priority this is the last priority so what we've done now is we've made all these resources and that's great but what do we do with them so the first thing you want to do is go inventory and you want to grab these resources so keep these in the survival kit so where it says grapple nickel and silicon we want them to stay in the survival kit we're looking for the interior plate construction steel plate computers and we'll leave the solar cells in there for the moment so the next thing we're going to do is we're actually going to build an additional cargo bay for this because we want to fill it up with stone and there's very limited space available in the survival kit so hit g for gold and then type in cargo the search here so if we go back you see where it says search type in cargo and you can see we've got small large and medium let's just build a medium and if you have a look you've got a large port and a small port and if we scroll around and the home and the end and the delete and the page down and page up they all rotate everything and if you look at the top right corner you can see that tells you what rotates and how it rotates it so we're going to point it at the ship and then we're going to use those keys to make sure that the big ports line up with the big ports we want the little ports on the side so we can access it and then left click when you're ready once you've got that done go to your welder for us it's number one and start welding so as you can see we are short one display and four motors so what would we need to do so if we have a look it looks like it's almost ready it is ready even though we're short four motors it, it's working it's ready we can now dump stuff in here we don't want to do that hold on to this right now and go and get more stone and essentially we're going to finish this here but what we need to do now is basically get as much stone as you can and fill up that cargo container with stone so that way we're going to get as many resources as we can and what we're going to do then is we're going to start building up our base so i hope this helps you out this is commander chewbacca and i'm signing out i'm just going to put this up real quick there we go put it in there and we're done so this is the end for episode two and if you have any questions don't hesitate to let us know this is commander chewbacca signing out Thank you.